Hello friends, today we are going to learn about earn value management. So let's get started. Earn value analysis. Why do we need it? So let's think about today's situation. We need, uh, there is a need for accurate and consistent status information. Numerous complex and interrelated projects are involved. Projects with many WS activities. WS stands for work breakdown structure. Virtual offices, diverse and integrated manufacturing processes. Success rate of projects. About 70% of the project are over budget and behind the schedule. 52% of all the projects finish at 189% of their initial budget. Some after huge investment of time and money are simply never completed. I am sure some of you guys have experienced all these things in your professional career. Unvalue analysis. What is unvalue analysis? This is an industry standard way to measure a project's progress, forecast its completion date and final cost, and provide schedule and budget variance along the way. Tracking is important. Knowing where you are on schedule, knowing where you are on the budget, and knowing where you are on work accomplished. EVA integrates all three. What is those three? It compares the planned amount of work with what has actually been completed to determine if cost, schedule and work accomplished are progressing as planned. Work is earned or credited as it is completed. Earned value is needed for Early warning signal for prompt corrective action. It's like time to recover and timely request for additional funds. So how can we start using earned value management? So what we need to do is first we get, need to get organized. EVA works best when work is compartmentalized. What does compartmentalization means? It is best achieved with well-planned work breakdown structure. So how do I create WBS or work breakdown structure for a really complex project? Work breakdown structure design. One uh, WBS per program. Like it is WBS is deliverable oriented. Work not in the WBS is out of scope. This is very important. Whatever we write in the WBS, and that's the only thing which is in the scope. Not mentioned in WBS, that means it's out of scope. Each descending level represents more detail. Define accurately time frame and total cost to deliver. How to create WBS? The process of dividing project deliverables and project work into smaller and more manageable components. The planned work is contained within the lowest level of WBS components, which are also called work packages. This is very important. A work package can be used to group the activities where work is scheduled, estimated, monitored, and controlled. What does work pack packages include? They include all these three. Scope of work to be accomplished, total direct and indirect cost, and time frame for completion. This is an example uh, to, uh, to explain the work breakdown structure. This whole thing is called work breakdown structure and the lowest level of activity are called work packages. So serve pizzas to customer. So what all activity it may involve is provide the place, cook the food, serve the customer in other activities. These uh, this cooking the, cooking the food can be further divided into more manageable components which is called work packages make the do cook the sauce build the pizza control accounts a control account is essentially a work package the lowest level of work breakdown structure with some added features assignment of responsibility organization or individual division if necessary into lower level work packages metrics of measuring earned value performance milestones percentage complete and others Terms to remember, Plan PV is planned value, 
interpretation is as of today what is the estimated value of the work to be done ev is earned value interpretation is as of today what is the estimated value of the work actually accomplished ac is the actual cost interpretation is as of today what is the actual cost cost incurred for the work accomplished bac is budget at completion and interpretation is how much do, did we budget for the total project effort eac is estimate at completion what do we currently expect the total project to cost this is a forecast etc is estimate to complete from this point on how much more do we expect it to cost this is also a forecast variance at completion as of today how much over or under budget do we expect to be at the at the time of completion this is a diagram for understanding the earned value concept so originally we are here today the planned value is here budget come at completion is here actual cost comes as of today how much we actual cost we have incurred this is the planned value this is the actual cost we have incurred It, this is estimated completion from today from today how much more Uh, budget or money or cost is required to complete this project and this is estimated completion which was done at the time of starting the project this is for these two uh, so i hope you got some idea on this these are formulas to remember cost variance is cost variance is earned value minus actual cost schedule variance is schedule variance um is earned value minus planned value variance at completion is variance at completion is budget at completion minus uh, estimate at completion and these are the uh, interpretation of if it uh, if the cost variance is positive you can interpret it as as under planned cost if it is negative it is over planned cost so for schedule variance if it is positive then it is ahead of schedule if it is negative then it is behind schedule similarly for variance at completion if it is positive it is under planned cost if it is negative then it is over planned cost CPI is cost performance index which is a measure of cost efficiency of budgeted resources expressed as the ratio of earned value to the cost actual cost if it is greater than 1 then it is under planned cost if it is less than 1 then it is over planned cost similarly for the schedule performance index a schedule performance performance index is a measure of schedule efficiency expressed as a ratio of earned value to planned value schedule performance index can be calculated as earned value over the planned value if it is greater than 1 then it is ahead of schedule if it is less than 1 then it is behind the schedule estimate at completion eac is the expected uh, total cost of completing all work expressed as the sum of actual cost uh, to date and the estimate to completion for calculating eac there are four kind of formulas this is eac is equal to bac divided by cpi this can be used if cpi is expected to be the same for the remainder of the project and eac can be calculated using Mm, if if future work will be accomplished are uh, accomplished at the planned rate use this formula if the initial plan is no longer valid use this and if both cpi and spi influence the remaining work use this so you just need to work uh, practice these formulas and you will be able to do it estimate to complete the expected cost to finish all the remaining project work etc is equal to eac my eac minus ac this is done assuming work is proceeding on the plan the cost of completing the remaining work authorized 
can be calculated using this one. We estimating the remaining work from the bottom up. ETC is equal to re estimate. Two complete performance index can be calculated using these two. If it is greater than 1, then it is harder to complete. If it is less than 1, easier to complete. So, TTC, uh, two complete performance index is very important um, towards the end of the project to, to know the, the efficiency of the project we are working on. If you can practice, uh, you can make a math sheet uh, for all this formula and you can practice once a day and you will be able to means you as essentially need to uh, memorize all these formulas for the exam point of view uh, in next video I will do some actual math example to make it more clear uh, subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos on PMP and other things thank you very much